two ranks attached to the New Amsterdam Constabulary have found themselves in hot water over allegations of misconduct. Michael Kahn reports. Two ranks attached to the New Amsterdam Town Constabulary have found themselves on the opposite side of the law as their superiors continue to push for their removal from the Constabulary Department. During the month of November 2023, one rank was accused of stealing a cell phone from one of his colleagues, while another rank was allegedly under the influence of alcohol and smoking marijuana while performing duties as a town constable, which is contrary to the Municipal and District Councils Act 2801. Head of the department, Inspector Paul Beaton, made the revelations at the November statutory meeting at the town hall. We will have um, a conflict with a vendor 19. We will have probably abuse and threaten a vendor, a roadside vendor, and other incident was last Friday. He would have uh, would absorb from the evidence guarding smoking marijuana on his board in his residence. Pictures were taken of such the evidence was collected and said the report was prepared. Of that, they would have found um, that he suspected to be uh, cannabis fever of stem of leaves, seeds and stem was collected and suspected. As it relates to the theft of a phone, Beaton said, Last Carpel Grant was on duty when it was reported to him by one Miss Paula like him that she would have had a short service. We have a liquid session outside the constant department and she would have come back for phone in the constabulary counter. When she remember Paula like him, when she remember she returned and she would ask the constable who was a soldier of her phone. He said he had no knowledge, but he would have um, insinuated that. He would have said that the farm had come to him of um, having some kind of tape in it. Well, she went home and she would use her phone to track her phone. And on her WhatsApp profile picture, she saw the constable picture appear. She was subsequently made a report to the central police station. I was called out. Um, I, I, I know for him I did not find him, but a message was sent to him. Um, she returned and said to Lance Carpel, Grant and myself that she would have met him and he would have returned the phone and she would have dropped the charges against him. He subsequently for the last week did not, not show up for work, sent a medical three days, absent two days, absent today. He was here on Sunday at 3 p.m. for a mission. I spoke to him and asked him to submit a statement on the incident. He did not submit no statement. But I did a report and I sent it to the charge department. Town councillors on both sides of the horseshoe were in full support of the dismissal of the errant ranks. However, any decision regarding the hiring and firing of municipal employees must be made by the local government commission. We need to filter the correct information whereby we need to, as much as we, these, these issues are going out there, we also need to let the public know that our hands are the real family spalty. Our hands are tied. We cannot hire, we cannot fire, we cannot discipline. And this comes under the local government ministry. So while we're saying all of this, this information needs to be out there. These kinds of things continue to happen because, as I mentioned, the disciplinary part that we have to wait to when it comes to the ministry. So the staff at all levels continue to take us for granted. All these systems in prison have no on grounds for the future. I'm up for that. I don't want to hear complaints, I don't want to hear any other story. Once it's there, we're done. No question asked, just yeah, I agree with that. Because you know why? If we continue on this path, lenient on one person, remember we are not psychologists, we are not doctors to premeditate person's personality on a different level or a different form. It could have been worse. One of the worst is 
than what could have been if it was somebody there. Then it could have been a lot of other charges, assault charges, and other things, the whole nine of those. But once their policies laid down that can control these things, I believe we should go along with it. We have to screen responsibles when we are giving a point for promotion. Just as a because a man who wants to send for promotion. All along I said so because I know what was going on. Nobody listens. So we have to be careful in the future. The Human Resources Department is expected to submit reports of misconduct to the Local Government Commission for a review and a final decision on the employment status of the constables. Michael Kahn, Channel 8 News.